Start the new year with a new ride from Dublin Nissan. This week at Dublin Nissan, drive this Sentra for $16,650. New or pre-owned with great financing options. Save up to 9000 off MSRP on this Rogue. Choose from hundreds of well-equipped cars, trucks, or SUVs. Save up to 11000 off MSRP on this Maxima. We make it fast, fun, and friendly. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. Come in the name of Jesus, the one that said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. We come in that name, a name that is above all names. Oh, Father, to lift you up this afternoon. Lord, as we have gathered in your name for this minister's program. Oh, Father, we pray now for your people that are here today. Oh, God, we realize, Lord, that we've been climbing Jacob's ladder a long time. Oh, God, but we realize that we have not been climbing by ourselves. We thank you for sending your son, oh, God, to help us climb this ladder. Oh, God, we realize, Lord, we may not be where we want to be, but, Lord, we thank you. Yes. for bringing us from a mighty long way. Yes. Oh God, we thank you for this afternoon. We yes. thank you for this worship service. Yes, Lord. And oh God, we pray for the man of God, Lord, yes. that will come and break the bread of life. Yes. Oh God, we need a word this afternoon. Yes. A word that will strengthen us. A word that will comfort us. A word that will take us throughout the days to come. Oh God, we realize that we are living in some perilous times. Oh God, but we realize that we are not living without you. Thank you for being our father. Thank you for Jesus, our big yeah, brother. Yeah, oh yeah. God, one that is there all of the time. Yes, Lord. And our fathers, we stand before you, Lord. We pray for the sick everywhere. Yes, Lord. Some are in the hospital. Yes, Lord. Oh God, we pray for the one, Lord, that belong to this congregation. Yes, Sister Jan Farmer, Lord, that you will bless her at Fairview. Yes, oh God, strengthen in the name of Jesus. Yes, name oh God, not only her, but Lord, all over this land. Yeah. Bless the sick in hospitals. Bless those in nursing yes, homes. Lord. Bless those that are confined to their homes. And oh God, we pray for the bereaved families all over the land. Oh God, strengthen them for the journey. We realize that there's nothing that we can do without you. But oh God, through you we can do all things. We thank you now for this day. We ask that you continue to bless the pastor of this church. Yes. Oh God, continue to use her for your glory. Yes. Oh God, as she always stand to proclaim your word. Yes. Oh God, that those that are not saved will fall out with the wicked ways of the world. Yes. Oh God, we thank you now. Thank you for the Black Festival Committee. Yes. Oh God, continue to use them as your vessels. Yes. Oh God, to bring programs like this to us. Yes. We need you this afternoon. Yes, we need you, Lord. We need your strength. We need your power. Oh, God, let your power move from the back door to the front door. Oh, God, that is the man of God come to speak to us. Oh, God, that when we leave this place, we will realize that we've been in your presence. Oh, God, bless the land. Bless this nation. Bless the leader of this nation. Oh, God, we ask, Lord, that you bless him in a mighty way. Oh, God, that when he opened his eyes, Lord, he'll see you in the midst of all of this. Have your way. Thank you now. Thank you now for all your blessings. Thank you now for your benefits. And our Father, when we are done with this life and no longer afforded with a home on this side, Father, we ask for a home somewhere in your kingdom where the wicked will cease from troubling and the weary will be at rest. We ask all of these blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said amen. 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 amen.
season is here and Jackson's Income Tax Service is ready to serve you. Jackson's Income Tax Service is open year-round to serve all of Lawrence and surrounding counties with all your tax needs. 
so don't delay. Come in today and get your taxes done and out of the way. Since 1987, Jackson's Income Tax Service has always stayed abreast of current and future tax laws and provided quality customer care while maintaining ethical and professional tax practices. Email Jackson's Income Tax Service at jits.tax at gmail. Call 272-8681 or visit us at 610 North Church Street in Dublin. So come to Jackson's Income Tax Service. Where experience makes the difference. And we will stand for our scripture, Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. He is my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your shield and your buckler. I shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasted noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, 10,000 at my right hand, but I shall see the salvation of the Lord. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the salvation of the Lord. For I have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, my habitation. There shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear us up in thy hand, lest we dash our foot against a stone. We can tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the dragon shall we trample on the foot. Because we, we have set our love upon him, therefore will he deliver us. He will set us on high because we know his name. We will call upon him and he will answer us. He will deliver us and he will answer us. Even in the time of trouble, he will answer us. And with long life will he satisfy us and show us our salvation. Amen. Book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. James, the servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. He said, my brother, call it, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and a bride of not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith nothing wavering, but he that wavered is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. In verse 8, he says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Amen. 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 We count it an honor and pleasure to stand before God's people on today. We take this opportunity to welcome you to our 43rd Annual Ministers and Pastoral Recognition Day. We thank you for being amongst all the spiritual leaders today. And again, we say welcome, welcome, and welcome. The purpose of the ministers program is to recognize all area ministers, male and female. Also, it is to show our appreciation for their devoted and dedicated service in the church and in the community. Pastors, preachers, and ministers, this is your time. Time to reflect, time to refresh, time to renew your minds. Also to the pastors that serve on this committee or have served in the past and to the legacy of the founders of this ministerial program. We salute you today and we honor you as well. 
and we show our support and appreciation by being here today to show you that we love you and that we care for you. The minister's program was organized by several of our former members. In ending the purpose, I leave with you this scripture. Psalm 91 as your song of safety and 1 Timothy to say that Timothy, 1 Timothy 2 and 1, that we exalt you, therefore, first of all, in supplication, prayer, intercession, and the giving of thanks to be made for all of the ministers, the men and women of God, for the kings and all those that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life godliness and honesty, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. Dudley Funeral Home has been family owned and operated since 1922, serving all of Middle Georgia and in its fourth generation of offering a full range of services, including memorials, cremations, and traditional funeral and final rites for all faiths. Log on to servicesbydudley.com. Call us at 272-5511 or stop by the home at 617 East Jackson Street in Dublin. Dudley Funeral Home, proudly supporting our community since 1922.
Christ, our Redeemer, the Holy Ghost, our company keeper and guide, to Pastor Linda Gaddis, the esteemed pastor of St. Paul AME Church, Amen. to all clergy in their respective position and their spouses, to all dignitaries, to the chairperson, Ms. Fran Wells, and all the members of the Dublin Lawrence County Black History Festival Committee, and to this entire assembly, good evening. Good evening. It is not just an honor, but it also gives me great pleasure to introduce the speaker of the hour, Pastor Randy J. Pascal. Pastor Pascal was born to the parents of Randy and Deborah Pascal. He is the youngest of his siblings, a sister and a brother. At the age of seven, he was anointed to preach the gospel. During his call, he served faithfully under the leadership of Pastor Louise Butler and a diva praying grandmother, Miss Annie Thorpe. He was also the youth pastor of the First Baptist Church of Danville. He was, had received various awards <coughs> pertaining to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In 2002, Pastor Randy Pascal graduated from the Twiz County High School in Jeffersonville, Georgia. After graduating, he furthered his education by attending Gupton Jones Mortuary College in Atlanta and the Interfaith Baptist College also in Atlanta, Georgia. After college, he returned home to Jeffersonville, Twiz County, Georgia, where he was called to pastor the Laurel Grove Baptist Church, where we, he was a Lord Shepherd for five years. At the age of 23, he was called to be the pastor, overseer, shepherd of the Cary Hill Missionary Baptist Church, Irvington, Wilson County, Georgia, where God had planted him to serve faithfully in fulfilling his God-given assignment, where he a president serving as full-time pastor. He is the owner and operator of Pastor Memorial Funeral Home at 181 North Main Street, Jeffersonville, Georgia, and 134 Peach Street, Cochran, Georgia, where he is setting a new standard in funeral home services. He is also the deputy coroner of Twiz County. Pastor Pastor is a young man wise beyond his year. He had been tried and proven to be a true man of God who had God approval, just like Jesus in Matthew 3.17 when God said, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. We at Calvary Hill are of the same opinion as Nicodemus in John 3.2. His statement was, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher that come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou do it except God be with him. When the man of God, the speaker of this great occasion, come to deliver the message that God had given you, I want to ask the favor of all of you that are present here today that you open up your spiritual mind See with your spiritual eyes, <coughs> listen with your spiritual ear, and receive with your spiritual heart what thus said the Lord. If you do this favor for me, I truly believe in my heart that before you leave here today, you will speak with your spiritual tongue, just like the two men in Luke 24, 32, when they said one to another, did not our heart burn within? why he talked with us by the way, and why he opened to us the scripture. <laughs>
TaxTime America has been bringing customers all their credits for more than 16 years. TaxTime America has provided our community with friendly, professional tax preparation and is always up to date on IRS rules and regulations and on the Affordable Care Act. Depend on TaxTime America, an authorized e-file provider, registered tax preparer, and a member of the Associated Tax Professionals. TaxTime America brings experience and ethical practices to you with no money out of pocket. Get your $2,500 tax advance. Call Tax Time America now at 274-8181. Tax Time America Income Tax Service, located at 103 High Street in the Northside Shopping Center just off North Jefferson. Bringing customers all their credits for more than 16 years. Tax Time America, located next to Cricket Wireless on North Jefferson in Dublin. Call Tax Time America now, 274-8181. Tax Time America would like to honor and remember a devoted friend and mentor, Lieutenant Colonel Stephen Smith, October 12, 1962 to August 14, 2019. to call your attention to verse number 15. When you have it, say amen. amen. It reads, when Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, it may be that Joseph would hate us and pay us back for all the evil that we did to him. So they sent a message to Joseph saying, your father 
gave this command before he died. Say to Joseph, please forgive the transgression of your brothers and their sin because they did evil to you. Now please forgive the transgression of the servants of the God of your father. Joseph wept when they spoke to him. His brothers also came and fell down before him and said, Behold, we are your servants. But Joseph said to them, Do not fear, for I am. I in the place of God. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. Amen. God's word is already a blessed word. Verse number 19 says, but Joseph said to them, do not fear, for I am in the place of God. Verse 20 says, as for you, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for my good. With the aid of the Holy Spirit, I just want to talk about a bad story with a happy ending. A bad story with a happy ending. God bless you. Virtues. My brothers and sisters, I will not stand before you long, but in reading this passage of scripture, helps us to reflect on today uh, Black History, amen, Black History Month, so many things that so many people have faced and endured, but can testify that amen, with God on your side, that it always and will work out. In reading this passage, my mind crossed the amen, so many different movies and producers that we have today. And the Bible tells us there is nothing new up under the sun because, amen, everything we see now has already happened. Maybe just a different way, but it already happened. And when I look at a lot of producers, those that produce movies and write stories, uh, I discover that it's something different that we don't see. We pretty much see the beginning to the end. And amen, as we see the beginning to the end, we see the highs and the lows throughout the movie or throughout the book. And not the end of the book or the end of the show. We all determine whether or not that was a good book or a good uh, film or a good movie. We all close out with that. And once we close out with that, we will let someone else know that that is a good book or a good movie. But what we don't see is how the author writes the story. And when the author writes the story, even though we read it from the beginning to the end, the author actually writes the story from the end to the beginning. Reason why the author writes the story from the ending to the beginning because if he don't or if she don't write the story from the ending to the beginning, the movie would never have an ending. And being about the movie would not have an ending, we would never know or the author would never know how to close out the story. 
With that being said, that's how God orchestrates our lives. He already knows how this story is going in. Being by the Lord already know how the story is going to end. It's up to you as the character to trust the author. Being by God is the author and the finisher of our faith. It behooves us to start shouting and praising God before the story ends. The reason why we must praise God before the story ends is because God already has given us the victory in the midst of what we're going through. That's a good place to believe and trust God and shout because some of us are sitting in this room right now and we don't even know how we're going to come out of the situation, but I want to pin a pin right there to tell you God has already worked it out. It's just up to you to go through the process. It's up to you to go through, amen, what God has already outlined for you to go through. And I want to tell you what you're going through. It may not feel good, but it's going to work out for your good. Because the Bible tells us that all things work together. I wish I had some Bible readers. In other words, it may not look good right now, but it's going to work out for your good. And so here it is today, we find in this passage of scripture, a young man by the name of Joseph. And I don't want to insult your intelligence because all of us pretty much know this passage of scripture or this story of this young man named Joseph. But I want to just pull out a few nuggets out of Joseph. When the Bible uh, unfolds this story to us, it tells us about a young man, how his father loved him. His father loved him so much, amen, because for one, Joseph, he got Joseph in his old age. In other words, when other folks said it wouldn't come to pass, the Lord allowed Joseph to come out. I want to tell you, when people write you off, that's just a setup for God to start writing you in. Thank God some people wrote you off. The Bible tells us when you read this passage or this scripture of Joseph, the Bible says, amen, that his father made him a coat of many colors. And not only did his father make him a coat of many colors, the Bible says, here it is that Joseph had some brothers. And his brothers, amen, the Bible said they did not like him. And when I read the passage of scripture, I tried to figure out why they didn't like him. But when you open up the Bible and read that story, they really don't even have a reason not to like him. Can I rain on your parade just a few minutes before I shout you happy? You don't have to do nothing for folk not to like you. And amen, some folks just don't like you because of the way you look, because of the way you walk, the way you talk. But I want to tell you, when you know God is on your side, you don't have to like me. Just as long as God likes me, that's all that matters. Start the new year with a new ride from Dublin Nissan. This week at Dublin Nissan, drive this Altima for $27,050. New or pre-owned with great financing options. Save up to 5600 off MSRP on this Frontier. Choose from hundreds of well-equipped cars, trucks, or SUVs. Save up to 12000 off MSRP on this Titan. We make it fast, fun, and friendly. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. The Bible said that Joseph's brothers did not like him. And the Bible said that Joseph had a dream. And not only did he have a dream, but amen, he told his dream to his father told a dream to his brothers, and the Bible said they hated him the most. When it time you have a dream, you're going to have some haters. And I want to tell you this, if everybody like you, that means you don't have no dream. If everybody praising you, that means you don't have no dream. But if you can count on one hand or two hands, some haters, guess what? That make you a dreamer. 
And I don't know about y'all, I thank God that I'm a dreamer because that let me know I can go some places outside of reality. When man say no, God say yes, here it is. Joseph is a dreamer. Joseph is a dreamer. Joseph is a dreamer. Joseph is a dreamer. His brothers got together and said, listen here, we got to do something about Joseph. Because Joseph, amen, think we going to buy down. Joseph think, amen, we some flunkies. Joseph just think he got us all in the bag. We got to do something about Joseph. And I want to tell you, it's not the one that's out there will take you out. It's your own. Close. Y'all ain't praying that. People that you sit at the table with, people that you hang out with, people that you ride with, people that you call your home girl, people that you call your home boy, those are the ones. You got to watch closely. When the folks in the street that took Joseph out, it were the folks right up under his nose. Bible says, amen, that they hated Joseph. They said, well, let's kill him. Look what the Bible says. They strip him. Throw him, amen, in a pit. Amen. One of the brothers said, hey, we can't take him out like this. Let's let just leave him alive, but we're going to go back and tell daddy, amen, that some wild animal attacked him. Amen. They throw him in the pit. But here come the shot part. When I read the text, Pastors, this is what it told me. It said that Joseph had favor. Had, not good look, but had favor. Not had connections, but had favor. Not had a man, a homegirl, or a homeboy in the back pocket, but he had favor. Can I tell you one thing? Favor will go in the pit with you. I don't care who trying to take you down. When you got favor on your life, you can't help but come up. I cannot take a survey in here. Is that anybody got favor? Favor will let you look good on the clearance rack. Favor will let you look good living in the hood. Favor will let you look good riding in a broke down hustle. When you got favor on your life, just tell somebody say, I got favor. He was in the pit. This is Black History Month, right? He had favor on his life in the pit. They got him up out the pit, sold him. Here it is, he's a slave, but got favor. A slave, but got favor. See, a lot of people think it's your title that makes you important. But it's your character that override your title. Because there's some folks got title, but ain't got common sense. But there's some folks, ain't man, they don't know how to even dot an I across a T, they split verbs, but they got faith. There's some folks that don't have on a three-piece suit, they got on Levi jeans and flip flaps, but got faith. Got faith. Put him up. Bible says, here it is, he's a slave. And you know the text, amen, as he's down uh, in prison, he got favor. Here it is, he's in the master's house. And this master's wife, see Joseph, and said, Joseph looked mighty good to me. And this woman said, I'm going to get him. (laughs) A woman is powerful. 
Because if she says she's going to get you, <laughs> y'all women say amen. amen. Some stuff you got you wish you could throw back. <laughs> but you say, I'm going to get him. So she said, I'm going to get him. And the Bible says she tried to set him up and she grabbed his garment. The Bible said that Joseph, watch this, didn't talk to her. He fled. He a smart man. Took off running. But the woman grabbed his clothes. And amen, when she grabbed the clothes, she went back and told her husband, Joseph tried, y'all know the story, <laughs> tried to take advantage of me. I wish I had grandmama here. Grandmama taught me this in, at a young age. She said, you cannot chase down every lie. You can't run it down. You can't catch a lie. Right. She said, but if you live truthful, right. the truth will slow walk lies down. Yeah. And when lies stop, truth will still keep walking. Yeah. Here it is, Joseph. Y'all know the story. The Bible tells us that Joseph now is in a place. Master said, well, listen, I got to do something because my wife said, <laughs> he didn't try to investigate he's the leader but his wife said <laughs> he said well my wife said you tried to take advantage of it he didn't even try to look at the full picture because he knew Joseph but the Bible says that Joseph had faith and not only that, did he have favor in the master's house, he had favor, amen, in prison. Amen. And that same favor got him from the prison. Mm -hmm. Bible said when the king had a dream and could not figure it out. You know the story, if I could cross the field, we done been in church all day, y'all know the story, go back and read it. <laughs> the Bible says that here it is, they say it's a man down in prison by the name of Joseph. They done had the soothsayer. They done had the witch doctors. They done had the smart folk. Can't figure it out. But see, when God is working in your life, God will let you see stuff that other folk can't see. Thank God for spiritual eyes. Look at Joseph. Joseph did not give out a business call. Joseph did not try to call up some folks. The Bible says he just sat right there and his gift made room for him. And when God has gifted you, you don't have to go around sniffing up to folks. You ain't got to go around trying to wash both hands. You ain't got to go around and try to do favors for folks to get in high places. When God got favor on your life, he'll put you in places that the greeds didn't get you in. Why? Because you got favor on your life. So here it is, a bad story with a happy ending. How did it... How was it a bad story? It because Joseph went through some things. Yes, sir. But look at the text. Joseph had favor in the pit. Right. Joseph had favor in the master's house. Yes. Joseph had favor in the prison. Yes. But look at Joseph now. He got favor in the palace. Yes. When God opened up doors for you, don't forget who brought you in. Can I get a witness here? God has blessed us as a people. We now have jobs, good jobs. Hello, somebody. Amen. And if your job is not so good, you still got a good job. 
Amen. God has blessed us to come from the outhouse to the in-house. Can I get a witness here? It bothered me when I go to church and people sit there. Like God owe them something. Can I get a witness here? They sit there with their arms full with a do not disturb sign on them. And when you say Jesus, they act like that's a foreign language. But somebody ought to have a testimony if it had not been for God who was on my side. Can I get a witness here? I, I believe I got some witnesses up in here that can testify I had a bad story. But I got a happy, happy ending. I preached myself half at the last church. I ain't got too much of a voice, so I ain't going to climb up the hill. But there's another. I can't close with Joseph. I can't close with Joseph. I can't close with Joseph having a bad beginning with a happy ending. That was another man. See, Genesis started out. But there's another man that closed the story. And see, I told you at the beginning that the author already know how it's going to end. So Joseph just started, amen, in Genesis. But when you keep on reading, there's another man that started out with a bad ending. This man, maybe y'all can catch because I don't, uh, when you read a good book or, uh, or see a good movie, I don't like for folks to tell me the whole story. <laughs> but every now and then drop some nuggets. So I'm not going to tell y'all who the character is. But this man was born in a manger. This man was wrapped in swaddling clothes. This man walked the streets of Jerusalem. This man opened up blinded eyes. This man unstopped deaf ears. This man able to lame the walk. This man, yeah. able to dumb to talk. Yeah. This man, yeah. turned water to wine. Yeah. This man, yeah. took two fish, yeah. five bar the load, yeah. fed five thousand. Yeah. This man, yeah. walked on the water. Yeah. This man, yeah. calmed the raging sea. Yeah. This man, yeah. called Lazarus from the dead. Yeah. This man, yeah. oh, but I'm about to get happy here. Went in the room of a dead girl. Yeah. Call her back to life. Yeah. This man. Yeah. Yeah. I think y'all probably know who this character is. Yeah. Uh -huh. This man. Yeah. Oh, I feel you, James. This man. Yeah. He said, well, that's not how the story is. That's, how not, that's not how the story will end. But one day. One day. See, this morning I was at Calvary Hill Baptist Church. This evening, amen, I was over at Spring Hill CME. Now I'm at St. Paul AME. But let me make my round back to Calvary Hill Baptist. Because one Friday evening on a hill, Call Cat. They hung him high. They stretched him wide. They pierced him in the side. Blood and water came screaming down. Well, let me go back to making. In other words, let me sum it up. Amen. They beat him up for breakfast. They hung him up for dinner. Yeah. But he got up, yeah. 
Sunday morning before brunch. And I want to tell you this man is named Jesus. And I don't know how you feel about him, but the more I call him, the better I feel. And I believe somebody here knows who I'm talking about. And if you had called him lately, you ought to look at your name and say, Dave, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Because I talked to him early this morning. And I talked to him late last. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. The more I call him Jesus, the better I feel. Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give God some praise for this Christmas. Yes. We want Jesus. Hallelujah to receive some glory. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't want to leave him on that cross. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They hung him high, they stretched him wide. Yes. But three days later, yes. hallelujah, yes. hallelujah, he rose with all power, all power in his hand. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us stand all over the church this yes. evening. Hallelujah. As we open up the doors of the church, I believe that everyone here knows somebody who knows the Lord Jesus Christ. But I'm not going to take it for granted that you know him and have a relationship with him. And so if you don't know Jesus Christ in the pardoning of your sins, not grandmama's sins, uh, not pastor's sins, uh, but your sins. Uh, now is the time we ask, hallelujah, that you come forward and you extend, hallelujah, your heart in your hand and give it over to Jesus Christ, uh, the only one who can save your soul, uh, the only one who can present you faultless, uh, the only one who can make a way out of no way. Uh, Jesus Christ, the doors of the church are open. Won't you come at this time? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. Father, we thank you right now, God. Hallelujah. We bless your holy and righteous name this day, Lord God. Lord God, a few of your servants have come together to worship and praise you, to honor some of your servants who have been faithful in the community here in Dublin, Georgia, as we come together to celebrate Black History Month. Oh God, as we stand on the backs, Heavenly Father, of those who paved the way for us, hallelujah. God, we pray your blessings to be upon each and every one that is under the sound of my voice. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for pouring back into the man of God. Strengthen him, oh God. Fill him back up where he may be weakened, oh God. Thank you for Calvary Hill this afternoon. Thank you for Calvary's mountain, oh God. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood that will never lose this power. We thank you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let every heart say amen.
Hello, I'm Tiffany Green, broker with Excel Realty Group. The decision to sell your home is dependent on many factors. Whatever your reasons for selling, my proven effective marketing plans will ensure you the highest possible price for your home. I guarantee to provide you with professional, ethical, and confidential service and keep you well informed every step of the way. Call me at 478-279-2009 or you may email me at tiffanygreen421 at gmail.com. Let's get started today. If you didn't get something out of this message, then we must be in two different locations. <laughs> I like the idea he said that uh, I've always heard this in politics, that uh, a lie of uh, being another country when your truth just begins to get it running, Jew, though. <laughs> so I want to thank uh, Pastor Geddes, the wonderful church of the St. Paul AME Church, Amen. for allowing us to have this wonderful event here. We have it once every year and it's been successful and getting more successful every year. I want to thank Kevin here Baptist Church for y'all coming down and they, they you heard them say that they are uh, this is the third event that they've had this year and it's and it's special. I called them and I asked them if they would come and, and I'm sure that they already had some of those events on the calendar when they did when they uh, obligated to do it, but they did it for me. I want to say that my, Chris, my this, those, those are my people. 65 years ago, I was baptized at Cavalier Hill Baptist Church oh. under the leadership of Reverend D.D. Edmund. So I have nephews, nieces, nephews, cousins, and everything here. You, if I use this phrase, homeboy, I'm one of their homeboys. <laughs> and if you see another person sitting here that looks like me, well, you're not wrong. My oldest brother right there. Stand up, Robert. <laughs> Don't we look alike? Mm -hmm. just alike. He, how old are you, Robert? 80? Uh, 85 years old. I'm trying to make it in. And that is, that is his lovely wife right there, Catherine. And I want to end. I want to thank everyone for coming to help make this a great success this story. Didn't the devil thought that he was going to stop us? He started out, he threw all kind of dots and everything out of place, but he was a liar. And I'm going to ask the president, I'm the vice chairman of the Double North Black Festival, so I'm going to ask the president, we work very well together, I'm going to ask her to come and do her closing remarks. Giving honor to God who is the head of my life. I appreciate all of you coming out this afternoon, taking a part in this lovely and awesome program. We always want to acknowledge our ministers and let them know that we think about them because I know when they go home at night, they have all of us on their mind and plate. And I know it gets heavy sometimes. And they need to be preached to as well as we do. So we need to just give them a round of applause. First, I would like to make a couple of announcements. Would Ms. Janola Jackson please stand? Ms. Jackson is running for probate judge of Dublin Lawrence County, so let's give her our support. Also, we had a senior citizen pageant um, January the 19th, and our queens are present. Ms. Pearl Queen, 2020, Mother Bernice Nelson. Our Diamond Queen for 2020, Minister Barbara Martin. And our first runner up for the Diamond Queen, Mrs. Barbara Wright. Also, I would like to thank Pastor Geddes and the St. Paul AME Church for allowing us to be here this afternoon, this evening. Thank you for your continued support, and to Pastor Pascal, should I say Pascal Funeral Home, I know you're on both sides. Thank you. Caver Hill, thank you. We appreciate you, and like Richard said, the devil tried to stop us, 
but when the Lord is in it, there's no way he can stop us. You. So thank you for coming out and using St. Paul Amy Church to recognize the pastors of the Dublin community. We ask God's blessings upon Sister Wells, Brother Nesbitt, and the whole committee. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much, Pastor Nesbitt. Pastor Nesbitt, thank you. Uh, receive something out of the word of God. Amen. That's something you would take with you. Amen. As we walk this Christian journey all together. Amen. Amen. We thank God so much for Calvary Hill. Amen. Give yourself an answer. So very much. I don't like the pressure. Amen. The members of traveling, but they always do such an awesome job. Amen. Uh, traveling. And we thank you so much, Cabaret Hill, because you did not have to come. Amen. And when people are nice to you, amen, it's just it's just good sense to tell them thank you. Amen. Thank our deacons, amen, and their wives, amen. Minister, thank you all so much. If all hearts and minds are clear, let us stand. Amen. Let us pray. Oh, gracious and eternal God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings that you have showered upon our lives. Realize the Lord, you've been better to us than we've been to yeah. ourselves. God, let us right now walk in your grace and your favor. Yeah. Continue to allow favor to reign yeah. on us. In the midst of whatever place we are at in our lives, allow favor to reign on us. Yeah. Dismiss us from this place as we go to our different destination. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Every heart said, Amen. Greet yeah. somebody another, know you're glad to see.